jongin amin wangin amin dedeli kando onu yali kandaan antu samba am ora antan samba am ora sindi go ordaran onden go ordaran akan tenro onu ngansarun ro Tribal India presents a colorful panorama of art, customs, religious faiths and practices which is the manifestation of adjustments with its cultural and ecological conditions. In tribal religion, magic is the predominant element. It conceives of man as passing through life surrounded by ghostly company of powers and elements mostly impersonal in character. Some of these are regarded as presiding forces over the various aspects of life, each force having its own sphere of influence. Thus, there may be a spirit presiding over various diseases, spirits concerned with harvest and fertility, spirits dwelling in rocks, rivers, waterfalls, and so on. These are diligently propitiated to ward off the dangers associated with their influence. Spirits dwell everywhere and men have to be at peace with them to enjoy freedom from illness and lead a prosperous life. If anybody falls ill, the general belief is that some relationship has been violated. To deal with these terrible forces, there are medicine men who intercede with the supernatural world on behalf of their tribal communities, placating and honoring the deities with food and drink. Motive of religion or magic has directed and inspired a profound creative activity in tribal art. It functions as a means of reverence and worship and as a living medium of invocation. In tribal art, the distinction which is usually drawn between the sacred and the secular by most sophisticated people ceases to exist and both art and religion tend to fuse with each other into a unified whole. A very interesting way in which religion has influenced tribal art is to be found in the remarkable wall paintings made by the Sauras. The Sauras are one of the primitive and most colorful among the major tribes of Urissa. Although they dwell in small numbers in all parts of the state, they are concentrated mainly along the banks of river Bansadhara and in the hilly areas of Koraput, Raigarh, Pulbani, Gunpur, Ganjam and Gajapati districts of South Orissa. The Sauras have racial affinity with the proto-Australoids and hold linguistic affinity with the South Munda division of the Austric language family. The Saura villages are generally small. On an average, a village may have 30 to 40 houses. Economically as well as educationally, they are very backward. They are primarily agriculturists. Besides cultivating fields, the Sauras also rear chicken, pigs and cattle. Each village has a presiding deity and at times two deities. They are represented through impressive carved wooden totem poles called Babu Devtas, which supposedly protect the village from evil spirits, diseases and epidemics. Most villages have weekly huts where the tribals procure the essential household goods as well as other items like colors, ornaments and clothes. Even the barter system prevails in these huts. The heart also provides the means of interaction with other communities 
and cultural activities. The Sauras hold strong beliefs in the power of the unseen world, peopled by gods, ghosts and the spirits of their ancestors. These unseen beings are continually interfering in human life and it is necessary, therefore, to keep them happy and contented by an elaborate system of sacrifices and by actions calculated to please them. Among such actions is the custom of making paintings on the walls of houses. Paintings or icons are drawn to flatter and please the gods and ancestors so that they may spare the members of the household from their individual attentions. It is done to pander to the egotism of a particular god or ancestor and to remind him of the magnificence of his life in the unseen world as conceived by the Sauras. His many wives, his pets, the spaciousness of his house, the retinue of his attendants, the wealth of his agricultural possessions, and so on. The inspiration for the composition of the icon may arise from the desire to honor those who have died recently, to commemorate the celebration of a certain festival or an important religious ceremony, or from a need to cure an illness. Suspended from the rafters and arranged breadthwise over the icon is a bamboo on which baskets of grains and pots containing palm wine for the deities and ancestors are hung. When a wall painting or italam is to be made, the householder may either paint it himself following the inspiration of his dreams or he may send for the medicine men, come priests, who are credited to be adept in communicating with the supernatural world. Mostly, the village shaman, kudam, kudam boy, bejun or bejune are considered to be the religious experts and intermediaries between the world of the living and the world of the spirits. Amen. <laughs> The two worlds are not isolated, but together form an interactive social world. In a state of trance, these intermediaries can enter the neither world where their souls leave their bodies. Now the spirit can use their bodies as a channel of communication to speak to the living in the world. The ritualistic spaces in the painting serve as temporary dwellings or rest houses for the spirits in the living world. It is believed that a spirit sits in the picture just as a fly settles on a wall. The strong beliefs of the Sauras prohibit them to invoke the spirits without a genuine cause, lest the spirit should get disturbed and angry. <laughs> To begin with, the wall on which a painting is to be drawn is washed with fresh red earth and water to provide a good background. The painter uses a twig slightly splayed at the end. 
For paint, he uses rice flour and water mixed in a small bowl. Or sometimes, ash and water. At times, he gives emphasis to his figures with a lamp black, red ochre or indigo blue. The principles underlying the designs involving repetitions, sequences, rhythm and balance are followed through with unrelenting determination. The ornamentation practiced by the Sauras is as remarkable for its boldness as it is for its technical excellence. Straight lines and curves are well combined. Lines are drawn with precision showing not only control of the tool used but also betraying variations natural to the use of hand. The painted decorations have a vitality and each design seems to breathe an energy of its own. The articles are symbols and specially designed to please the spirit. So everything that can serve this purpose is included. The painter is direct, simple and sincere and does not aim at any special effects. The paintings are done with free hand and the subject matter determines the style. When the artist has finished the initial drawing, he sends for the intermediary who at once proceeds to add new elements as per the dictates of the invoked spirit. He offers rice and wine before the icon and calls on the spirit for whom it has been prepared to come and inspect it. Though the styles do vary from region to region, there are certain general similarities. The paintings depict an extremely harmonious combination of virtuality with abstract suggestion. Normally, the pictures are of conventional items. Some modern objects like trains, cars, aeroplanes are now being introduced. Tutelaries are made more elaborate because of the need to flatter. Human figures, animals and birds are depicted stylistically with a lot of care bestowed on little details like the quills of a peacock's tail. Houses and mountains are symbolically depicted in geometrical patterns of great variety. Human figures may strike an intermediate mean for they are comparatively realistic in silhouette. Dancing is suggestive rather than realistic. Figures are painted in rows with feathers in their hair, holding drums and trumpets or with hands raised above their heads. Gender differentiation of the figures can only be made by their occupational activities. Unlike the more primitive Langia Sauras of the hills who consider painting sacred, the Sauras of the plains are more open and painting is like any other ordinary activity for them. The art is not just restricted to the directions of the intermediaries but is open to the artistic imagination of the people as such. There has been a transition from the primitive, ritualistic and sacred purpose 
to a more contemporary lifestyle without losing the benevolence of spiritual belief. These paintings now not only serve for ritualistic purpose but also for wall decorations. The artist is free to interpret the life cycle, the surroundings and the concept of devotion to the spirit in the way he perceives. He draws freely, in peace and happiness. The artist is truly unself-conscious and is not ashamed of what might be regarded by others as crude. He remains true to the impression which an object has produced upon him and tries to reproduce it faithfully. The artist may be untutored, but he is not uninitiated. <laughs> In a unique singular case as observed in village Marichagura, the advent of literacy and education has resulted in a changeover from ritualistic painting with all its attendant practices like animal sacrifice, invocation to the spirits of the ancestors, to a reformist mode of defying the 25 alphabets of the Sora script, the Sora Sompain. Each of the 25 alphabets represents a deity of great mythological and cultural significance, thereby encouraging and compelling people to move out of the blind faith and superstition to educative awakening. So, Sapna Rai Dei Thile, Se Din Taru, Ame, Se Kundai Puja, Bata Puja, Ye Bali Puja, Madha Puja, Ame Sadi Dei Giri, Ye Sabdi Se Ta Akya Raka, Ita Ka Amara Devta Mane Bali Giri, Ame Da Seva Karchi. For the Sauras in this village, the alphabets are the harbinger of health, wealth, knowledge and happiness. With the overall growth, development, urbanization and the introduction of allopathic medicine as a healing system, the traditional system of warding off evil through icons is slowly being given up. Christian missionary activities and Hindu revivalism have also taken a toll on the beliefs of the Sauras. Framed calendar pictures of gods and goddesses now adorn the interior of the Saura houses. The concept of superior or lesser gods has entered the mind of the Sauras. Contact with the Hindus has led to the gradual adoption of popular Hindu deities, festivals and religious beliefs. This does not involve any significant break with the past. The tribals have adopted these without giving up on their own deities and gods. Thank you.
पूजा भी जो लोग पूजा को करते पूजा कले पूजा कर पूजा कर पत्र जाकर आपको आमस्कार करूजा कर चित्र देख कि आम शुभ पुरुषर अजा काल को आम जदि चित्र देख लक्ष्मी पूजा करित्र को देख देख आम भी एवं से हिंदू धर्म विषय आम भी एवं चित्र करूजा कर This is not so in the case of Christianity. Sometimes it has led to the total disintegration of their cultural traditions. In the village Guma and Seranga areas in Gajapati district, the complete transition and phasing out of the traditional Sora art is marked. Sora's here converted to Christianity in recent past and have lost all touch with the Sora art sacred as well as artistic. Am log ka jo puja karte 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 am log ka bahut kharcha ho gaya. Ab puja ka jin se bhi kharid karne nahi paya. To am log ka to paas am log ka paas mein paisa nahi raha. To ye kahan se paisa la ke ye puja karna hai. To chhodo ye puja am log ka chhod dena hai. तो हम लोग का क्रिश्चन हो जाएगा क्रिश्चन जाने से पूजा विद्या करने का कुछ जरूरत नहीं है बोले कि ये पूजा जिन से हम लोग को छोड़ दिया है The artist paints only out of faint memory of art and beliefs, as it was years ago. ये जो लेका हुआ है, पहले हम लोग का जब हिंदू में था, इसको उवाल में ऐसे ये टांग करके हम लोग का पूजा किया है. उसका बाद ये जो पेड़ लेका हुआ है, ये पेड़ का नीचे में कुछ ऐसे जानवर छोटा हो, बड़ा हो, उसको बांध करके हम कुछ काट करके उसी जगह पर हम लोग का कौन दिया है उसी गा पेड़ का नीचे में पूजा क्या है उसका बाद ये जो नीचे लेखा है ये जो ऐसे मूर्ति को रख करके उसका हम पूजा क्या है और पूजा करके जिसको जो बीमार हुआ है बीमार होने का बाद उसी का पास में जाकर हम लोग बोला है इसका बीमार तुम लोग का उसका बीमार दूर कर दो और जैसे कि अच्छा होगा आपको जो कुछ भी हम देगा बॉइस नहीं तो ये जो कुछ भी सुंगूर देगा ऐसे बोल करके हम लोग को उसी जगह पर मैं पूजा करके उसी जंतु का हम लोग को मारा है दोनों से नहीं तो कुछ टाइम से मारा है उसको उसका बाद ये जो नीचे जो पेड़ लेका हुआ है ये जो छोटा छोटा बच्चा लोग जो बोकार हो जाएगा नहीं तो कुछ भी होगा ये पेड़ का नीचे जा करके हम लोग उसको रखा है और ये जो सुहा छोटा छोटा नहीं तो बड़ा उसको ले करके उसी जगह पर मैं उसी का नाम पर हम लोग को काट दिया है तो कुछ देर का बाद उस बच्चा भी अच्छा हो गया टू स्टडी ट्राइबल आर्ट इन मॉडर्न इंडिया इज अ मेलनकली टास्क द मार्च ऑफ सिविलाइजेशन हैजीबलाइजिंग इफेक्ट ऑन द कल्चर ऑफ द ट्राइबल पीपल एज सच ट्राइबल आर्ट is communitarian art but this art has started fast losing its richness in the bewildering mosaic of fast marching industrial civilization it has to be preserved and nourished the saura icons are drifting away from their contextual significance the recent changes show a deterioration of basic aesthetics as well as functional structure and the idea of a house for the ghost spirit has been forsaken saura painted motifs have caught the imagination of contemporary artists and handicraft designers who are using these in their creative crafts however windows to the true ritualistic saura art tradition are slowly closing forever 